Ah, fusion. A concept as old as time. Take one thing, put it with another, boom. <laughs> Fused. Or at least I think that's how it works. But what happens if you fuse something with itself? I don't know, don't ask me. But I decided to find out when I attempted a randomized hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon Infinite Fusion using only Pokemon fused with themselves. This of course means level caps for gyms, no items in battle, set mode is always on, and of course, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. We'll be catching the first Pokemon we see on each route, and with that all out of the way, let's get into it. Oh, I'm excited, baby. I'm excited for these double fusions. It's gonna be epic. We're gonna be fusing everything with itself, and it should give us some really cool fusions. So off we go to pick our starter Pokemon, but we won't be using it because I can't get another one of it to fuse with. Hopefully we can still beat BP anyway. Gol Golems. Epic. Great, okay. I don't care if I lose this fight. All right, well, we've actually won somehow. Maybe he doesn't have any attacking. Oh, no, he has uh, poison sting, but he just only used it once. All right, epic. Well, Machop, you're pretty much going to go straight in the box anyway, but at least we beat BP and got some money. Smell you later, dude. So, after defeating our rival BP, we head out into the grass and find our actual first encounter. Oh <gasps> my god, we could double fuse Bagon. Nice, all right, we got Bagon. So, it's time to fuse our first double fusion. Bagon and Bagon, fuse to give Bagon. But what type of Bagon does it Bagon? That does Bagon the question, doesn't it? Bruh. It's Bagon. <laughs> So sometimes this happens. Not all Pokemon have fusions with themselves, but most final stage Pokemon do. So we'll just have to hold out for that with Bagon. Fortunately though, we can get another Pokemon already. So I head up to Route 2 to do so. All right, now for our Route 2 encounter. Bulbasaur! Oh! Well, we have to catch it. We should be able to catch it, right? Don't make me press do the B-Spam method. I will do it. I will do it. Okay, that's it, Bulbasaur. Stand the ball, 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 stand the ball. It works every single time, man. Every single time. All right, we caught Bulbasaur. Now we just need to catch the second one and fuse them together. Straight ball it, baby. That's how we do it. Fuse Bulbasaur and Bulbasaur to create Bulbasaur. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's like Ivysaur, but not Ivysaur. It's like Hindersaur. It's like if Ivy there was a stage between Ivysaur and Bulbasaur. That's really cool. From here, we make our way through Viridian Forest and arrive in Pewter City. And what's cool about this game is that all the gym types have been changed. So Brock could specialize in any type, not just rock. But for now, I go and catch my third Pokemon. Shop it, bruh. I mean, it's not horrible. It definitely could be worse. I do wonder what a double shuppet fusion looks like, though. And we caught our first shuppet. Fuse with this. Fuse. Oh, it is different. Okay, okay. Shuppet smash together equals... Chop it. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. That's pretty cool. It's like a mid-stage between Bennett. Cool. The, the team is looking pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. Well, let's check what type the gym is. Because all of the gym types have been completely randomized. So instead of being a rock specialist, Brock is actually a ghost type specialist. And we just caught a ghost type. So does Shuppet have any good ghost moves or can it learn by level 12 some good ghost moves? to take on Brock. I mean, Nightshade's not the best. Knockoff's is good, though. Um, hopefully, it can learn another cool ghost move, though. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Brock. Put him up. Put the doofers up, bro. Come at me, dog. Miskern. Interesting fusion. We'll just go for the Vine Whip, or should we have set up? I guess we can set up, right? Oh, what? Leech Seed doesn't affect it? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to swap out to shop it early. Because I feel like we'll just be wasting Bulbasaur's HP there if we can't even use it's ingraining, huh? All right, knock off <laughs> one shot, nice. And then we hit the level cap, all right? Lamp tick, cool Pokemon, I like that, but it doesn't matter because we hit it with a knock off. 
but it's gonna take three, which is fine. Keeps missing smogs, bro. You can't see me. You can't see me, no. All right, final knockoff to win us our first gym badge. Oh no, you burnt me. Shame the match is over, idiot. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Da 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 da! But what is Sakurako? Well, it's a monthly authentic Japanese snack box subscription with the latest and greatest of Japanese local snacks. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artesian Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. Fruit Marvels. Mochi and fruit marvel. Mochi. It's all mochi based. I love mochi. Okay, we got strawberry mochi. I'll try the strawberry mochi. Mochi mochi, baby. That's some good stuff. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh, that's a really nice way. We could use that for like a, the sake set. That's sick. I like that. I rate that. Lemon vinegar something? It's a round ball. Wow, the smell is potent. It's like a... Whoa, that's weird, but nice, but weird, but nice, but weird. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the Tokyo Treat box. -da 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 -da. On the other hand, we have Tokyo Treat, a pop Japanese snack box subscription where you'll get 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. Chocolate orange Kit Kats. I guess I gotta do it. Kit Kats! Interesting. Okay, popcorn. Cool. Oh! I love these snacks. These are so good. I had them in Japan. Oh, I love these. Oh, yes. I can't believe I get more of these. I have been missing these things. They're just lollies, but they're so good. Mm. I was having like a pack of these every day when I was over there. It was crazy. I would take these up onto the ski field when I was snowboarding. This would be like my snack while snowboarding. Melon soda! I love melon soda. This is really good. A packet of ramen. Oh, a big packet of ramen. Okay, epic. Chocolate ball cake. It's a chocolate ball cake. In it. And finally, some crazy banana man doing the tiki dance. Nana. Chocolate center Nana. That's delicious. So yet again, a big thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. The snacks in these boxes are absolutely incredible. And if you want $5 off your first box, just use my code. It'll be in the description below. So yet again, thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring the video. Back to it. Let's go. So with our first gym badge acquired, we make our way into Rock Tunnel. It's here Bulbasaur half evolves into Bulbasaur. Bruh. Yeah, well, that's gonna get confusing quick, but not long after it evolves into a fully evolved Ivysaur. Inside the cave, we pick up two Slugmas, fusing it together to get a normal Slugma. Bruh. And witness Team Rocket doing some type of experiment. Uh oh, stinky. So they were trying to do a triple fusion? That's kind of insane. Well, with that out of the way, we arrive in Cerulean City, where we meet this Joker. I'm a clown. I tell jokes for a living. Huh, same, I think. I don't know. Would you like to hear a joke? What Pokemon did the boy catch when he was sick with the cold? A Pikachu. Brother. And from here, we make our way up to Nugget Bridge to face our rival, BP. We knock out his first Pokemon, Pukuchik, after it heals up once. Against his evolved Golbok, we Leech Seed it with the Ivysaur and knock it out after a few Razor Leaves, leaving him with just what looks to be Clefer, but is actually a Togepi Clefer fusion. And down goes BP. Thanks for the fight, bro. We need to do some training before we take on the gym leader. And by training, I mean defeat the trainers on Nugget Bridge. We do so and get our next capture encounter being Waylord. One, two, three, four, baby. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Just a bigger Waylord, isn't it? <laughs> so from here, we head over to Bill's house and witness this. Experiment 32. I will now test the effects of using DNA splices on a human by using it on myself and this ride on. Experiment starting in three, two, one. 
What? You didn't see that, did you? Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I was conducting research on Pokemon Fusion, but I might have screwed up. I mean, Pokemon and humans could fuse, eh? What do you mean by that? You know what? I probably shouldn't go there. <laughs> you want me to fix this? All right. Hey, look, he's a human again. Wait, what happened to the Rhydon, though? Did the Rhydon have to die so he could come back? Looks like it. Okay... That's concerning. We obtain the S's and ticket and head to take on Misty. She's a rock specialist this time and the battle begins. I'm feeling confident in this, to be honest. Teddy Solar. Okay, maybe hold this razor leaf, bro. Okay, two razor leaf and we take it out. Surprising amount of damage there. Super potion, of course, of course. It dodges a razor leaf, no. That is so annoying. Take my razor leaf, bro. Level 22. Now we're at the level cap. Annex. Whoa, that's sick. Um, okay, I'm gonna seed it. Shouldn't take us out. Got my berry. Do I swap? I think. No, you know what? I'll go for I'll go for sleep powder. Bruh. Oh no! It crit! No! Ivy saw! I should have just swapped. That was so greedy. <laughs> Take out this annex. Oh, that's so frustrating because that just one shot as well. We just lost Ivysaur for like no reason. And Ivysaur was one of our best Pokemon as well. Oh my god. That was so stupid by me, bro. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that past me, but at least we got our badge, which means we can head down towards our next encounter. Alright, even though we lost Ivysaur, we've got a new encounter, and that is Flaffy, which kind of replaces our Grass-type. Electric kind of does the same job. And you know what? Actually, it's not the end of the world. Alright, I'll try and catch it in a Glitter Ball. That could be cool. Ooh. We do have 15 Pokeballs. If this persists, I will have to... The lowest catch rate of them all, the Pokeball is the one that catches. You just got to threaten them. Threaten them with violence. After fusing the two Flaffies together to get Flaffy, Bruh. we move on to Route 6 to get our next encounter. Well, we've got our next encounter straight away, and it's Celebi! Whoa! Celebi, Celebi fusion. But this might be really hard to catch, though. Well, we'll just do our best. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, it's got recover. This is gonna, this is gonna suck. One more button. Oh, 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 oh. We're going away, Lord. I'm just gonna throw a couple of balls. If we catch it, great. If not, we don't. Bruh. Oh, I was gonna say, no way, first ball. Come on, Pokeball. Celebi. Bruh. Oh, no. Double Celebi fusion? What if it's not even a double fusion, though? Let's go! Celebi! <gasps> yes! Ooh! Okay, this could be really cool. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> it's like future and past Celebi, and then it's the shiny Celebi from the um, Explorers of Sky Mystery Dungeon game. That is sick! Heading into the town now, we pick up the old rod and catch a bit barrel. Fusing it together gives us this. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Ah! After this, we head down onto the SSN and proceed to take on BP. We knock out most of his Pokemon pretty easily, but unfortunately lose Slugma to a Fury Swipes. What the heck just happened? Incinerate would have one-shot that, but the Fury Swipes, what the heck? In the end, we defeat him, and now we have to replace him. I end up finding a Pinsel, which just fuses into its Mega Evolution, and Hitmonchan as well. Hitmonchan! Okay, that could be a cool double fusion. I have no idea what it would be like, but it could be cool. Bruh. 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 Uh-oh. This is bad. Alright, great ball. Alright, we got our first Hitmonchan. And then we need to get one more Hitmonchan in here. Easy, alright. I'm just gonna throw a great ball straight away and pray. Bruh. 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 
Bruh. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh. What is this a catch rate? Bruh. Bruh. Oh my god, this hip hop chat is pissing me the fuck off. Bro, just stay in the ball, man. Bruh. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a stroke. Thank you. God. All right, let's double fuse Hitmonchan. Please be a cool fusion. Oh, it it looks unique. <laughs> He's like in a suit. Man's looking dapper. He's got like the dapper suit punch. Okay. What? I actually really like that. And with that, we go to take on Lieutenant Surge, who this time is a bug specialist. All right, it's time to... Take on Mr. Muscle Man. Now, his bug Pokemon shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, I'll take Waylord, Shuppet, and Flappy. I think with Rollout, we should be able to just... On all of them. Father. <laughs> okay, we'll just go for Rollout. Did a decent amount with the Slash, but that's double quad effective. And then it's going to ramp up damage, and we're going to knock Father out. Goodbye, Father. You're not my father! You're, You're not, not my dad! dad. Butterang. Roll out! It resists that? It's neutral. Okay, that's fine. But we hit the next one, so this should knock it, because it's increasing damage. Nice! I'm not... I, look at me, Mom. Hands off the controller, and I'm still winning. And finally, Larnat. Hands off the controller, didn't even put an input. And we won with Waylord! <laughs> Look, with, what did all those muscles get you, Lieutenant Surge? Absolutely nothing, mate. Give me the Thunder Badge. Thank you very much. Well, onwards we go. Of course, to get our next encounter. Oh, Charizard! Okay, I'll take Charizard. Not the worst encounter to get. Definitely not the worst. But now we have to catch two Charizards. Annoying. Brother Smokescreen, really? Go! Okay, what's the catch rate on this thing? Oh, we should swap to Mareep and uh, paralyze it. Come on, hit the Thunder Wave. Okay, good enough. Great ball, go! Would we get to pick between both Mega Charizards? That would be cool. Oh, oh, it, it's different. It's actually different. Okay, this is cool. If it's different, that's even better. Fusion Charizard. Whoa! That's sick! We then find a Dragonair down near the power plant who fused together to give a Hydra Dragonair and also found this Grimer, but it evolves into just Grimer. Lame. Then after making our way through the hellish rock tunnel, we arrive in Lavender Town, where yet again we have to take on BP. Fortunately, we managed to take down his many fusions without too much of an issue, thanks to the suited up Hitmonchan, and head over to Celadon City. 15 minutes later. It's here that Erica and I head down into the sewers for some dirty roleplay, and instead get greeted by a bunch of rocket thugs, and eventually come face to face with Giovanni. His first Pokemon is a Dusclops and Haxorus fusion, and it looks incredible. Whoa! And it does insane damage! Oh god. I'm gonna hit it with a whirlpool and start some chip going on. Wow. This is bad. This is really, really bad. We probably have to sacrifice something here. Uh, I don't know how we're going to take this out. Well, there's our sacrifice, I guess. Damn! And we're just about to evolve into Bennett as well. All right, well, hopefully a couple of Dragon Tails can take it out. Ah! No! Celebi, go! That does nothing. And we're getting will o -Wisp. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Hit yourself. Bruh. Now he's going to full restore, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. Okay. 
We lost two Pokemon, though. Oh, my God. This sucks. But even though we took down Duorus, we still have a few more Pokemon to get through. Fortunately, we do manage to recover still with Celebi and knock out Omau. And in comes Peculia. And man, this fight was a stall as it constantly kept using Pain Split. But thankfully, due to the size of my Giganto brain, we managed to knock it out with the Dragon Claw from Charizard. And with a bit of taste of shit in my mouth, I mean two Pokemon killed, I attempted to find replacements. We found two Actus and Chimchars, which we fused together to get just themselves, and then went to do some training in the sewers. And to my surprise, actually find this. Shiny. <laughs> okay. Um... Shit, what happens if you... I have never caught a shiny in this game at all. So I am going to catch it. And what happens if you fuse a shiny with a non-shiny? Oh, I need to find out. I'm so curious. We already have our encounter down here, which was Akshu, but I've got to catch it. Like, come on, it's a shiny. If we can even catch it. Come on. Oh, come on, Lucario. Shiny Lucario, what? That's crazy. And it's a different color as well, which is really cool. I wonder what, 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 will it be shiny? What will it look like? I'm so curious. Let's see. You know what? Because it's shiny, I feel like we have to use it, right? I decided against using it, but it's still cool nonetheless. But enough of that. Now it's time to take on Erica. I think Celebi should be enough, even though it's underleveled, if... Since it resists electric moves, we hopefully should be all right. Whoa, oh, big crit and the confusion on him. Nice. All right, well, we'll just take it out with one more confusion and then we can recover next turn, I guess. All right, well, down goes Pikagar. Dugfire. Okay, Magical Leaf should do a lot. Just ground type. Decent. Magic Leaf, go! One more. Bro does no damage, but drops our accuracy. That's right. Magical Leaf. Finish off Dugfire. All right. But what is her final Pokemon? Wobble. Confusion. <laughs> oh, look at that damage. I can just stall it out. Why risk a death? You know, we'll just slowly whittle it down with Magical Leaf. And Magical Leaf takes it out, earning us our gym badge from Erica. Heading back into the spooky tower where we destroyed BP previously, we get our next encounter, which just so happens to be a Bond's Light. Okay, so that's our encounter. Interesting. I mean, the fact that it's level 31 does make it actually pretty good. Um, I don't know what Double Pseudo Wooter looks like. Could be cool. Maybe it's a real tree now. Oh, okay. Double Bonsai actually has a unique fusion. Okay, well I might add this to the team instead of Chimchar, probably. Oh, he's so adorable! Oh, I, yes, he's coming on the team right now. I don't care, he's so cute. Oh. From here we head down onto Route 12 where we get our next encounter and this one is epic. Torterra. Wait, is that an encounter? It is. Yeah, we're on the new route. This is an encounter. Well, hopefully we can catch it. Torterra. I mean, we might as well get it because, you know, it's a Torterra. And we got a first ball as well. All right. Sweet. Okay, Torterra Fusion. Oh, this could be epic. What the heck? It's like Mount Coronet. Oh, yo, what the heck? Okay, I have to use this. I have to. How can I not when it looks that cool? Well, let's go take on Koga. I'll show you the fighting game. Actually, maybe I'll show you the sleep game. Because I'm going to put all your Pokemon to sleep permanently. Hitmon Ring. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Air Slash should be decent, though. Nice. Okay. Two Air Slash takes out Hitmon Ring. Let's go. Bud Lee! It's like Bruce Lee, but Bud Lee. Bud Lee. Interesting. Okay, Heat Wave. Damn. Ooh, that's big. Okay, in that case, we're going to swap. Oh, I missed. Massive. Massive dodge right there. Confusion should still take it out. Yeah, cool. Confusion knocks out Budley. Miss Machan. Well, it dies this turn. <laughs> oh, 
He's holding the egg like he's about to come here, man. Come here, mommy. Okay, we're good. We win. Nice. Good stuff. You just slowly break it down with confusion. And goodbye, Chan Laid. All right. Well, thank you very much, Koga. And thank you for the soul badge. We caught a victory bell, which double fuses into this. Pseudo Wudu evolves into this. And we also caught a Toga Kiss, which double fuses into this. And with the soul badge on hand, now we can head into Saffron City to take on Team Rocket. And after a long winded grind of battles, defeating grunt after grunt to try and stop Giovanni's evil plan, BP thinks it's appropriate to have a battle now instead of heading in there and stopping him. Well, we take him down anyway, and it's time to battle Giovanni. Are we double battling? We are. We're double battling with BP. All right, come on, BP. Let's do this then. We are very under level, but doesn't matter. Go! Sir. Yeah, yeah, hit solo bell. Rip solo bell. <laughs> I don't care if you're on my side, BP. I'm gonna take down all your Pokemon. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! 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 Okay. Um, Cyphisk, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, if he goes for that again, um, Torterra's a good swap. For both of this. Oh wait, no, it's Combuskin. I'm gonna hit you all with the earthquake. Okay, I well, guess I'm not. Okay, that's fine. Super effective on Slug Vesta. Almost rip Seabok. I told you I'm gonna take out all of BP's Pokemon. I don't give a shit. Oh no, Seabok died. What a shame. Wait, level 51 Combell? The level cap's 45. Why has he got a level 51 Pokemon? What the heck? What the? Is that it? Okay. <laughs> well, with the city saved, we can take on the next gym, being the battle with Sabrina, who is a ground specialist. We've got four Pokemon all really strong against any ground types that could come out here. Perfect starting Pokemon. Arca fan. That's pretty cool, though. I rate that. Does it have Sturdy, though? It does. Interesting. Is she gonna full restore it? Yes, she is. Big brain. I knew that was coming. What a spout! But it still has Sturdy. So, just in case she heals it again, we go for another water spout. But does she heal it again? I don't know. No, she doesn't. And down it goes. But what is her second Pokemon? Litrio. Okay. Ooh, uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Whoa, Charger fan. That's pretty cool. But also, Surf is going to absolutely destroy it. But does it have Sturdy like the last one? It does. Beautiful. But it goes down anyway. We're not even going to have to swap into any of our Pokemon. Waylord is going to do it solo. That's incredible. Sandrino. If that poisoned, that could have been bad. Actually, no. It would have been fine because we took it out anyway with one Surf. Defeating Leader Sabrina. And earning us our Marsh Badge. Off to Cinnabar Island we go. And on our way there we find a Squirtle. And all of the Squirtle line's fusions are absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. We find the next gym leader down here at the bottom of the burn mansion. And as our repel wears off, it means it's time for our encounter. Palkia as our encounter down here. What? We cannot mess this up. We have to catch Palkia. Can't hit Togga Kiss. I don't think we probably. Never mind. We'll go over to Torterra then. And with it at that HP and it not being a super high level, maybe the chance to actually catch it is a little bit higher. And we do have a lot of Ultra Balls, but we do have to catch two. So it could be a problem, but hopefully we catch Palkia. Bruh. Bruh. No, now it's gonna start healing. We can't have that. Ultra Ball. Bruh. Okay, we gotta we gotta speed this up. Bruh, I just keep spamming. Whoa, we got it! Oh boy, I'm excited. This could be really really cool. Oh, okay, double fusion Palkia. What the heck? That's kind of creepy, weird. 
<laughs> well, with Palkia on side, I'm sure there's no way we can lose now. And with that, we head into the gym where we get all of the questions correct. Not a single one wrong. Remember, I have a giganto brain. I think would be ground? Uh, uh, you saw nothing. But nevertheless, now it's time to fight. This time, Blaine is a dragon specialist and leads with Garow. Garchomp Noctowl. Very cool fusion. Also quad weak to an ice block. <laughs> So it gets one shot, and we crit it. Let's go. That's a pretty cool fusion. Next up is Zekrom Starmy. Zekmi fusion. Whoa, that's nuts. Zelda can uh, take Zekmi. Thank God we missed. Oh, let's go, big dodge. Nice. Keep hurting yourself, Zekmi. It had Confuse Ray that whole time? Uh-oh. 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 Maybe we'll go for Crunch instead, actually. Maybe it's... No! Maybe... Maybe it's Psychic. Maybe it's Dragon Psychic. Please don't hit yourself. Oh... My god. What is happening right now? We're being trolled. Oh, god. Please we take it out? Okay, we take it out. Ah, that was only Pokemon 2 though. Dignite. Okay. Could we switch to Celebi and recover? I think we can. And I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. This might be a mistake. Aquatail. Okay, cool. Okay, recover. <gasps> we have a freaking fissure? It's trying to fissure me? You shit? Okay, screw that. We're going to Hitmonchan. And then we can Ice Punch for quad damage. Put out speed. Quad damage, Ice Punch. <gasps> Thank God the Fissure missed. And we knock out Dignite. Okay. Dark Nair. Whoa. That's really cool. Probably Ice Punch. Because I can guarantee... Oh! Oh! <laughs> the Freeze! Let's go, Hitmonchan. Take it out with one more Ice Punch. Let's go! That fight was so close. Indeed it was, but we're on a time crunch here, as Team Rocket has stolen a boat and has taken off to capture the final legendary bird. So we give chase, taking down Rocket member after Rocket member, until eventually coming face to face with Giovanni once more. Hopefully we can triumph over you without losing too many people. Whoa. Now, if you know anything about this, all of these Pokemon are actually weak through rock moves. So, a rock slide hits all three of them, and hopefully, I don't know if it's enough to knock it, but if it doesn't knock it and Sudowoodo goes down, I also don't care. So, let's go. Big rock slide, come on. Ancient power, shouldn't do too much. Second ancient power, we live in. We eat in the orange berry, you know how it is. And then... He gave it a goddamn Charty Berry? He came prepared? How's that fair? Oh, no. Now we're screwed. Unless they all use stupid moves like agility or something. Okay. Well, goodbye, Pseudo Wudo. I, I, I don't know what to say. Heat wave. Go! And we had speed as well. Knocking out Articuno. Let's go. Okay, it's just map the Moltres and Zapdos left. I don't want to lose any more than we have to. Ancient power. Don't die, Charizard. Oh, let's go, Charizard! Oh, he's living! Okay, I think we have to sacrifice something here. And I I think it's going to be Charizard, unfortunately. Thank you for your service, Charizard. I'm, I'm, unless you do a big crit here, man. I don't see how you're coming out of this alive. Oh. Rest in peace, Charizard. You have been on the team a long time, and we appreciate your service. Very much, thank you. But Palkia has come in for cleanup duty, I guess. Hit it with the surf and finish it off. And down goes Zap Kuno. We lost Charizard and Pseudo Wudo. Was it worth it? I think so, because um, you know, we made it through and didn't wipe, so. And it was a it was a 1v3. What, what option did I really have? Ah, oh, thank God we've finally dealt with Team Rocket. I was sick of fighting those guys. Well, on to the next gym. And now, since we've finally dealt with Giovanni for the last time, we can take on the final gym of the game, and it's... Giovanni. 
I guess I spoke too soon. All right, let's do it. Crook Gron. That is a cool fusion. Okay. Gahorn. What type is that? I'll just earthquake it. Probably. Another one. Oh, oh, it's not ground. It's just rock dragon. Okay, cool. Down it goes. Is Torterra going to sweep here? Oh. Maroyreal? What? What? Okay, we'll just giga drain it then because we're quite effective. <laughs> Suck all that energy and become a giga chat. Oh shit! Wait, I wasn't paying attention. When did the hell did that happen? All right. Oh, if we giga drain though, we're getting it all back, baby. What did it use? I didn't even see. Okay, cool. <laughs> Down it goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Bonpa. <laughs> That's, that's part of the fun of a randomizer. The final gym has a Bonpa and an Onron. Onyx Laron. Not the best Pokemon, but not the worst. But Earthquake should take it. Oh, it's living. Oh, sturdy. Right. Double edge. Ooh, just took himself out. Yikes. Giovanni, the brightest trainer, literally just took out your own Pokemon. Mm, I don't know about that one. Haven't lost. I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished. Yeah, okay. You said that before, mate. But give me the badge, bro. I need to go do the Elite Four. What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wait, one second. Wait Let's go. Oh, I just remembered the hell that is the League. The League is indeed quite hellish. And as we make our way through the first two routes and arrive in the horrific Victory Road Cave where I'm forced to push boulders, our team goes through its final round of training before arriving at the league itself. But before we take it on, I thought it was only appropriate to do our final double fusion, and it just so happened to be Arceus! But we have to catch it, and that's probably going to be problematic. How much damage can this thing take? Okay, one more S slash puts it in the red. Gravity, oh no. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's perfect. 36 Ultra Balls should be enough to catch Arceus, right? Should be. Nope. Okay, evidently no shaker on that one, but you know, that's okay. Stay in the Ultra Ball, man. You can do this, Arceus. Stay in the ball. Nope. All right, I'm going to do it. The old B-spam strat. Come on. Nope. Uh, I was told that was supposed to work. Every other time I use the B-spam trick, it works. Don't fail me now! Come on! Nope. Not a single rocker? Okay, we can't fail the B-Spam three times, right? Two? Nope. Oh. Progress, progress, progress. Okay, now it's three. Now it's three. Now it's three. Nope. Okay, now it's none. I'll, I'll do the countdown. One, two, three, eight, Game Boy Luke. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, Game Boy Luke! Let's go! It works! What the hell? It actually works! We caught Arceus! Let's go! What happens when you fuse God with God? Whoa, that preview looked insane. God with God becomes? I was hoping for something cooler. I don't know, I do like the rings of power and the elemental types and the rainbow and everything, but... Eh. So, the final team consisted of Togekiss, Torterra, Hitmonchan, Palkia, Celebi, and Haxorus. Let's do this. First up was Lorelei, who was a fire specialist, and thanks to the help of Palkia and Surf, we knocked every single one of her Pokemon out, no problem. Battle 2 was with Bruno, but we don't talk about Bruno, as a few air slashes from Togekiss knock out all of his Pokemon as well. Next up was Agatha, and man, this lady looks old, but that's besides the point. Since Togekiss and Palkia shine here yet again, knocking out all her Pokemon super easily, although I I did really like this Vaporeon Absol fusion. This leaves the final league member Lance. Okay, touching my collar because I'm sexy. I wish I could wear a cape and look cool. Magnolade. That's a pretty cool Pokemon, but it's a fighting type. So confusion should do decent or does it still make it resist it? I don't know, we'll see. That resist it. Lock on? Okay. Gonna go back to Togekiss already. <laughs> we'll just aerial ace this one Magnolade. Oh wait, it has electric moves. Maybe this was a mistake? No, it should be fine. 
We should knock it with the Aura Sphere. Okay, cool. Metakin! Oh my lord! Okay, it's another steel fighting type. Do I go for Aura Sphere, I guess? I guess so. Ooh, Meteor Mash did a lot, but we live and Aura Sphere should take it out. No, okay. That's fine. We can slowly whittle it down. Yeah, you're not healing anymore, Medikin. Sanferno. Big Pokemon. Big, big, big. Big if true. Big if true. Okay, we'll send in Hitmonchan, I guess. Flare Blitz. Holy moly. Ice Punch should one shot. Nice. All right. Bytop. Whoa. That's sick. That is a crazy looking Pokemon. <laughs> Holy, I'm just like kind of taken aback by it. Um, I actually might go into Torterra because I don't want to risk Hitmonchan since we did just get our attack drop. Might not be enough to one shot it. And close combat probably would have took us out. So I'm glad we did that. Massive Iron Head. Uh oh. Torterra, how could you let this happen to yourself, man? Should have destroyed by top, not join him. Okay. Their defense is like negative a million, so we should be able to just take it out with the spatial rend, right? Oh, detect. Spatial rend! <laughs> Deleted. Yo, spatial rend is epic. And finally, Machoke Butterfree Fusion, of course. You, you gotta see it sometimes. Should one shot. I didn't. Okay. Color me surprised. I'll surf you then. Uh oh, don't hit yourself, please, Palkia, don't do it! And down goes my free. Will I ever be free from this suffering? I don't know. And now finally, we are here at the champion. The battle to end the run. And it's with BP? How'd you become champion? Well, it doesn't matter. It's time to battle. Silver Chomp. Whoa! Okay, that is a Pokemon. What type is that? Uh, I'll just go for the magical leap, I guess. Could be ground. It is ground. Okay, cool. It's not even gonna get a chance to do anything. Oh, wait. No, he's going for restore it. Yeah. Okay. But it takes three magical leaves to fully knock out. Okay, waste the full restore early. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I love that for you. <gasps> Big crit! Oh, man. Can you stop full restore and silver chomp? We'll eventually take it out with magical leaf. Brother! Stop with the full restores, man! I'm magical leaf spamming for days, dog. Alright, down it goes. Ah, uh, good old Seabox back. And just like every other time, a confusion should take care of Seabox. I guess two. Mega Horn might have done more than I anticipated, but I think confusion still takes it out, right? It does. Goodbye for the final time, Seabox. Whoa, Corbat! That's sick! What? What is... Why is... It's, is that like seaweed growing off it? That's sick. I love that. I guess we can go into Hitmonchan. Oh, wait. Why did I swap? No, I need to swap, but that's bad. We'll go for Thunder Punch, I guess. Oh. Okay, we knocked it. Anyway. We're gonna get Hitmonchan out of here. If we don't have to lose him, I won't do it to him. Quaglade! Of course. Alright, back to Celebi then, I think. We're not even gonna use Haxorus, are we? Go for the Magical Leaf. Brang. Muddy Water. Shame you used all of your full restores already, bud. Magical Leaf, go! Knock out Quaglade. Two Pokemon, holy lord. Melonks. Oh my god. That is one sexy Pokemon. But Magical Leaf should deal with the Blizzard. Hold on, Celebi. Oh. Okay, we held on, we held on. But it did outspeed us. And it's going for Blizzard. So anything I swap into is weak to Blizzard. All of them, but you know who I wouldn't care if died. I'm sorry, Haxorus, but you're brand new to the team, and you know, if anyone's gotta go, he lived. Um, well, big if you can turn this around for yourself, but I don't see you doing it, but. Man, rip Haxorus! But you know what? It gets us in to Palkia, who can, of course, go for a massive spatial rent. Oh, set up the rain, baby. Then I can use it for surf. Spatial rent. It lived. Did a surprising amount of damage as well. Okay, well, we took it out anyway. Okay, this just leaves. Who's left? Artichomp. 
Whoa! Articuna gotcha, I'm looking badass! I think I go for the spatial rent. I have no idea what type it is, but I think I'm gonna go for the spatial rent. Although, surf? Yeah, we'll surf. And we're rain boosted, so this should do a lot. Let's go! Palkia one shots it! Woohoo! Let's go, baby! And with that, we have defeated BP and become champion with only Pokemon fused with themselves. Let's go! Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you slap like on it, hit subscribe. We'll be back next week, and I'll see you guys then. Peace out.